hi guys uh, welcome to leaves where you learn it with shexa i've observed that a uh, number of us we do not know when to use the if function and when to use the count if function so today i'm going to clear uh, the confusion i'm going to make sure that you know when to use the if function you know when to use the count if function right Some more examples are available on the youtube channel learn it from shakes lifts uh, so you visit the channel and get more videos uh, subscribe those who subscribe will never miss a video so just click a red button which is at the bottom right side of your screen uh, to subscribe so that you don't miss any new video so here i'm, I'm describing where to use the if function now it's written so the if function can perform a logical test and return one value for a true result and another for a false for, for a false result right what you are saying here is an if function it is used to check conditions whenever you think of checking a condition you use an if function whenever you think of checking several conditions you still use the if function but when you want to check only one condition for example like here i just want to know if someone is passed or that someone is failed i just need to check only one condition which which tells me that this person is passed or failed that's when i use uh, the if function so this statement is read as if i am saying if the value in b2 is greater than 49 it's a pass otherwise it's a fail by otherwise i mean if the value in b2 is not greater than 49 then it's a fail so that's how we read it in an english way we say if the value in b2 is greater than 49 a return pass otherwise a return fail so what we mean here is if this condition is true we return a pass if this condition is false we return the second uh, result so this statement is just this formula is equal to this formula which says if the value in b2 observe the difference here we are having a greater than sign here we are having a less than so we are saying if the ma the value that is in b2 is less than 50 it's a fail otherwise it's a pass so it's written it's, it's read as, as this if the value in b2 is less than or equal to 50 here i have forgot to write an equal sign here so let me let me correct that one then equal sign there right so we are saying if the value in b2 is less or equal to 50 it's no 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 if the value in b2 is less is less than 50 return if the value in v2 is less than 50 return fail otherwise return pass meaning to say if the mark is below 50 it's a fail if it's above 50 it's a pass just that so more than one condition can be tested by nesting if functions by nesting we mean we have this if function as an example as shown below there exist some other if functions inside this if function so the bracket this bracket is closed by that one and inside that if function we have this if function and another if function so we have three uh, if functions but two nested if functions so let's check some examples no let's go back first so this this formula is 
is defined or it, it came from this statement for one to get an A grade a score must be above 74 so that's that condition meaning to say we have this condition which needs to be checked for one to get a B grade a score must be above 60 that's another condition for one to get a C grade a score must be above 49 that's another condition and for one to get an F a, uh, F grade a score must be below 50 that's another grade so that's another condition so we have this condition this condition that condition so let's check the example here is the example we have a student mark then let me just say this this is the mark and this is the result but the result is defined by that formula so we said if value in b2 which is 98 is less than 50 it's a fail otherwise it's a pass but now the value in b2 is 98 and it's above 50 it's above 50 and it's not meaning to say it's not less than 50 so it's a pass and when it goes to grade it's like that nested like that if value is in b2 is less than 50 it's an f if the value in b2 is less than 60 it's a c if the value in b2 is less than 75 it's a b otherwise it's an a so that's when we use uh, the if function so let's go back to our point so the purpose of an if function is to test for a specific condition or specific conditions meaning to say we may have one condition or more than one and the return value you supply the values for true or false like we did uh, on this one this example here you say you supply the value for true which is fail if this condition is true this is the value if true if uh, condition is true and this is the value if the condition is uh, false so let's go back right syntax you say we start with an equal sign whenever you are writing a formula you say if because it's a in if function you put the logical test which is the condition and the condition is either true or false and the value if true value if false these arguments are described here logical test a value or a logical expression which is a condition which can be evaluated as true or false value if true it's optional and the value to return when logical test evaluates true which is, which was what which was what which was what which was what and in our example it was what value for true it was fair then value for false was that so value for false was that and when to use that use the if function to test for or evaluate certain conditions and then react differently depending on whether the test was true or false in the example shown we want to assign either pass or fail based on the test score a passing score is 50 or higher when to use uh, count if function when to use count if function count if function usage it, it count if is a function which is used to count cells that meet a single criteria it's different from the if function if function you can check more than one uh, condition or logical test but here you only need to check one criteria and count if can be used to count cells with the dates numbers and text that match specific criteria that match specific criteria and in a certain range count cells that match a certain criteria that's the purpose of count if return value it gives you the number representing cells counted and the syntax you say equal sign count if you put the range and you put the criteria range the